this video, I will show you how to do haulage with Sprite Scheduler. Basically, there are two methods to be used, digitize and radius. First, let me show you how to use digitize. The initial step is to create the logic by adding a new folder called demo and add a new rule to the folder. Next, set up the source range, choose all pit, and then for the dump, I'll use dump A. For the process, we can actually include all processes, but since this is a waste dump, I choose only Friedrich and Blasted Waste. On the steps tab, create a group, then add new digitize steps. Click on the digitize points, then choose the segment code that we have created before. For this case, I choose a round pit and dump. Next, open the surface triangle. So this is my surface and you can see the point will be dropped in my surface because I choose snap to segment. If I click here, the elevation will be automatically shown. If I click on the other location, the elevation as well as the grades will be shown. The grades are in blue. So I will continue creating in another location as an example of the haulage. If the grade is higher than the default grade, this information will appear to notify the user. I will create another one until it's finished. So this is an example of Hollis Road outside of pit and dump. After that, I will connect the vertices to the loading point. I just click step one and insert the step before then choose Process Android Field as the source and click Add to Profile. It will automatically connect the loading point to the vertices or the whole it's road. Finally, I insert Step After and choose Destination Android Field as the source and then Add to Profile. So now, there is a connection between this destination point and the whole is road. When I run the scheduling scenario, you can see the dumping point is moving and so is the loading point. Our whole is road will be fixed here. If you see it from the other side, it is now connected from the loading point to the whole is road point. This is important for our first cut or first dump because the haulage can be assumed using the direct line, but if we have a final pit, then our road should be continued until the bottom. And of course, we cannot use this method because the grade will be higher. I will show you how to do the haulage if we have a bottom of the pit. It doesn't make sense if we have to work from the loading point and the whole its distance is from the loading point to our vertices. We should use this road instead. That's why we have two methods in Spry. Firstly, create the road section line. I have created one before for pit and dump. The right line shows the Hollitz network from pit to dump. We use final ramp of the pit and in the dump. After we create all lines in Spry, we should create the logic. I will show you how the logic works here. There are two logics, attach and detach. Attach means it will cover the pit while the detach means it will cover the dump. Let's see how attach works first. We need to set up the network attach.
we have to specify the minimum distance, maximum distance, bearing, and grade. This is the distance. If I change this value, it will change the radius in the cat. If I change to 200, the radius from the loading point will change to 200 meters. If I change to 100 meters, there is an error message saying could not find any network attached points. It means there is no road in 100 meters radius from the loading point. This is the road we have created before. So, there is no road within 100 meters radius from the loading point. We need to change the value to be bigger than 100 meters. Let's say 600 meters to reach our line or our Hollis road. This method is not only for determining the distance, but it can also be used to set up grade. If you look at it from the top, it looks like a radius, but if you see it from 3D section, you will notice a thickness. The thickness reflects the grade. If I change the value in maximum grade field, the thickness will change accordingly. Therefore, it is helpful to use this in our Hollitz model in scheduling because if our staging or our pit is deep, then we can use the grade to find the road line. If this is where loading point is, the truck cannot use this Hollitz network they should use the grid instead. Let me detach my surveys. You can see that they cannot use this road because it is not covered. So, I scroll down to see the different. Open the surface. And you can see if the loading point is here, then the truck should take this road to go to the destination or dump point. If the loading point is moved around this point, then the truck should take this road because of the maximum grade value that we have specified to 1% before. This can also be applied to dump using detach point. We can also create the distance and the grade. The red line here is a final ramp in dump. The black ones are the Hollitz roads. From the first level of dump, we only use the road up to this point and then dumped is here. Once the first layer is full, they will move to the upper one like this and then the road will be moved from the first point to the other point until we get to the final. If you see this one, 0% reflects the parameter we have specified. I use this one for the second layer. Then after it is full, it will be moved to the third layer. It will move from here to here, like this. It will reflect the same condition with the holes in the field.
This concludes my presentation on how we use haulage in Spry Scheduler. Please contact us for more information. Thank you.